ticket in Los Angeles. They love where they stand right now. First place. And, of course, there's Minnesota, all tied at the top. These teams are evenly matched. Seeing where the Timberwolves are, I think they're the team you dread having to play. I mean, they've been performing at just about their best in every game so far this season. We figured that by this point in the season, they would have separated themselves from the pack. They've done that and more. So the opening lineup here for the Clippers. George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Terrence Mann is out there with James Harden. And it's Zubats in at the five down low. And for the Timberwolves, McDaniels and Towns in at the forward slots. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. And it's Gobert in at the center, locking down the middle. Ooh, you got to love the optimism of opening day, Smitty. Every team is undefeated. I love it. Blue sky, a world of possibilities. You can feel the excitement, not just among the players, but the coaches and fans as well. The shot by Conley, no good. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. Conley against Leonard. Up and over Conley. Shot by Leonard, no good. And it's Edwards with the ball for Minnesota. Pass to Conley. Towns with the ball. Leonard defending. 11 feet out. The shot by Towns, no good. And here's Harden. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Here's the pick. Fires, top of the key. Jump shot is good that time. And now the game is really starting to flow. We should be in for a good one. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? Now here's Edwards. Towns on a screen. And Edwards, here we go. Soft touch off the glass. Oh, so smooth inside. Edwards found the opening and exploited it. Harden against Conley. Now here's Harden. Tight defense on him. With some arc. And he takes it up and lays it in. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Here's Edwards. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, if you're the Clippers, are you out looking for the next young star grid? Possibly, B.A. I mean, five of their top six scorers last year were over 30 years old. So they may need more production from your young guns to be a consistent contender. The first one falls. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, What would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. And both free throws good for Edwards. Even though the Timberwolves made the playoffs in 2023, Grant, they had their share of trials. Yeah, B.A., they had to integrate new players. I mean, Cat missed 51 games due to a calf strain. There was that incident with Gobert and Kyle Anderson. And, of course, Jaden McDaniels fracturing his hand. Ah, the golden years for the L.A. Clippers spinning. Those Lob City teams. Ooh, I miss those days, B.A. Chris Paul tossing up alley-oops to DeAndre Jordan and Blake Griffin. Those three pretty much won 50-plus games every season. And, man, were they fun to watch. No good on that one. Such a versatile guard. James Harden is a triple-double threat every single night. And he sinks the second. Looking back to last season, Smitty, the Clippers were as busy as anyone at the trade deadline. Well, they came into the season with high hopes, B.A., but midway through, they saw the changes had to be made. It didn't translate to playoff success, but they gave it a shot. (laughs) 
First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. McDaniels can't hit. The Clippers have gone two of three from the floor. Pass to Harden. Zubox with a screen on Conley. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's his first foul of the game. Harden surveying the D. Driving in. Down low. Here's Zubots. Yes. And a nice assist from Harden. Zubots is an experienced vet. Someone who's adept at knowing what to do in screen and rolls. Edwards finds Conley. Towns on a screen. Beyond the arc. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Just one for five. Not the start they were looking for. Obviously, there's still plenty of time to get on track. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Towns. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. George outside. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Jaden McDaniels picks one up. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's, he's made the all-defensive team shot. more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. Good from George. Talking about the veteran Paul George, a star player, Smitty, wanting to compete for titles. B.A., he knows he's not getting any younger. I think it's good he poses this win-now mentality. He's clearly hungry to win a title. Good on the second one. I like how Paul George can be your go-to guy, but he can also accept a secondary role. Very unselfish. He nails the third. I'll tell you, he doesn't get points away. Excellent job from the line. Outside Edwards. Towns on a screen. Denied by Leonard. Swallowing up shots like none other. Leonard stout on the defensive end. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. Sky high. One of his advantages as a undersized four. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for Minnesota. Eight-point game. Pass to Edwards. Will it go? No good on the shot. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Leonard. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Jaden McDaniels picks one up. Good job inviting contact. The closer Leonard gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. And for a guy who doesn't talk or emote much, Kawhi Leonard is a commanding presence. B.A., he reminds me a little of Tim Duncan. The way Leonard just puts his head down, goes to work, and leads by example. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Leonard. You know, when you have a guy like Hawaii Leonard, so much of what you do goes through him. You trust him. You trust his abilities. Anderson's checked in for McDaniels. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Timeout call, the Timberwolves. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets.
All right, let's take a quick pause and look at the best shooting teams from last season. The Timberwolves, third. They were so consistent with their shooting. Maybe not lights out, but they played smart and didn't let good looks go to waste. Minnesota has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. That's tipped. Outside Conley. To get back on track. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The cleverness of Conley getting the defender to be way too handsy with him. Free throw drops for Conley. The true definition of a veteran. Mike Conley, an integral part of this team. No good on the second free throw. The Clippers have gone four of six in the first quarter. Here's Mann. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Now here's Conley. Nine points for him in his last game. And go Bear with the stuff. Few players in the league do a better job of finding the open man than Mike Conley. Zubac passes to Leonard. Here's Mann. Inside. Leonard, good. Leonard's got eight. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. And it's Conley with the ball for the T-Wolves. Down by 12. Over to the wing. Downs for three. Oh, Leonard with the block. The three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Man's got his second bucket on the night. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for the Clippers. They are making a statement so far on the defensive end. Sending shots away in incredible fashion. Loving the hustle. They're also managing to make lots of trouble for their opponent in transition. Right away, they're finding points on the break. Here's Edwards. Nine points in his last outing. Six on the shot clock. And finished off by Anderson. Yeah, just continuing to unlock his game. If Edwards adds the playmaking component, <laughs> Watch out. Zubats with a screen on Towns. Leonard gets the bucket. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now here's Edwards. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. Now Edwards has a way of making the D look helpless. Just looking past the good coverage and still converting. Outside Harden. Zubox with a screen on Towns. Leonard for three. Minnesota with a rebound. Outside Edwards. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And we've seen Edwards grow a lot in the past few years. He has a great understanding of how to put defenders in tough spots. Throw good, Edwards. And looking at Edwards, the offensive skills he has are impressive. Now he must focus on improving his defense. Powell, he's checked in for man. Four, four, 
Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Los Angeles has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. George has screened on Conley. Pass to George. Here's Leonard. Again, the miss by Leonard. Minnesota has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Gobert with a screen on George. Edwards, a pass to Gobert. It's stolen by Leonard. George with it. He's picked up by Edwards. Powell for three. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Timberwolves shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Here's Edwards. Seven points in the game. Gobert with a screen on George. The shot is good by Edwards. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. The Clippers have got eight of 13 attempts to go. Conley against Harden. Leonard, left side. And he scores it. Now five of nine for the field. Time out, time out. Playing at his tempo, his pace. He's been dialed in all night. And Minnesota calls time here. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Coffee's checked in. And so Conley will bring it up for the T-Wolves. A 12-point game. Towns against Leonard. Pass to Anderson. Back to Towns. Here's Alexander Walker. Six to shoot. Now Conley from outside the arc. Powell pulls it in. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Zubats with it. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Picked by Gobert. Pass to Conley. And he's now one for four after that one. Well, this is where Conley operates best naturally. In the paint, creating for others or himself. Now here's Leonard. Three-pointer. Anderson pulls it down. Minnesota has gone just one of six from downtown. Conley looking for an opening. Here's Towns. And Minnesota again with a bucket. Some assertive play from Towns. Basically shrugging off the contact. Pass to Zubats. Now Harden. Got a piece of it. Here's Alexander Walker. Still no points. Now 
outside, Anderson. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Harden against Conley. Harden, the pass to Leonard. Oh, and Towns with the block. And look at that reach. I mean, Towns just say no. Outside Conley. Towns down low. Defended by Harden. The shot by Towns, no good. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Coffee, the pass to Leonard. It's blocked by Gobert. Pretty hard to get that attempt over Rudy Gobert. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Pass to Towns. Puts up a three. Hits a three-pointer. Towns has got five now. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. 107 left in the first. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. But Grant, some think of Gobert as just a defensive specialist, but he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how Rudy uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high percentage shots that come to him naturally. Some changes for Minnesota. Reeds checked in for Rudy Gobert. Edwards comes in for Towns. And it's McLaughlin in for Mike Conley. George outside to win the cold spell and count that two points and a chance for one more at the line and their goal on the offensive end is simple pounded inside towns he's checked in for anthony edwards one shot The Timberwolves trail. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Reed. Over Tice. Reed can't hit. Los Angeles has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Coffee, the pass to Westbrook. George outside from deep. Rebound, Minnesota. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Shot and game clock separated by five. McLaughlin, that one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. Yeah, and for Towns, great awareness at the offensive end. And it's Powell with the ball for Los Angeles. Six-point lead. And he's in the books. Now one for two. 
Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. There's the triple. And another three for Minnesota. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Both teams lighting it up to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Good scoring in this one as we conclude the first quarter. Clippers ahead, up by five. We've got more in store for you right after this. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers guys. Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. All right, Grant, I'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat now. Tell us what the key is to establishing culture in an NBA organization. Ooh, B.A. Culture, structured accountability. It's about getting the right group of guys, having strong leadership. And, of course, it only works if the coaches and players fully buy in. Troy Brown out there with Kyle Anderson. Then there's Nas Reed. Then there's Edwards. And it's McLaughlin in at the one spot. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the T-Wolves. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Now here's Westbrook coming in off 12 points in his last outing. For three, George Edwards pulls it in. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. The officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, look at the concentration. Through contact, Edwards gets the shot off. Just a tremendous fight. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Moore's checked in. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. And we're now about a minute into this second quarter of play. Tice sets a screen. For three, George gets the three ball to go. George has got nine points. He makes them at such a high clip from there. Paul George knows his range. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, some have called Kawhi Leonard a cyborg, but he said, quote, a coach can't put a battery in your back and tell you to play harder to go win games. You have to have the mindset and you have to train your body to reach the level that you want to play at, guys. No doubt. He is always locked in. Thanks, Allie. George passes to Westbrook. Off target from three-point range. The Timberwolves have gone three of three to begin the second. Edwards looking for an opening. The three-pointer off the mark. And it didn't register as an official block, but he did everything you want in disrupting that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Reed can't hit. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. No good. A bit long that time. Minnesota's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Moore, and he lays it up and in. Five points in the game. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. George, a deep three. Reed with the rebound. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. Pass to McLaughlin. And here's Anderson. Shot clock at six. Coffee grabs the board. The Clippers trail. 
Right wing for three. Westbrook knocks down the long J. Westbrook's got his first three points of the game. We know he prefers to shoot off the pull-up, but Westbrook's showing he's capable in the catch-and-shoot situation. Edwards can't hit. The Clippers have gotten only two of eight field goals to go on the second. Pass to George. Poke loose. Here's Moore. He's got five. Ooh, nice D from George. Despite the defensive presence, he challenges at the rim. Give him an A for effort. Westbrook right side. Fades away and sinks a tough shot. Westbrook's gotten his second bucket on the night. No hesitation right there. Westbrook can make you pay when you leave him space in the mid-range. And Minnesota calls time here. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Gobert's checked in for Moore, and Mike Conley is subbed in for McLaughlin. Zubats, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Harden comes in for Russell Westbrook. Anderson. Reed finds Edwards. And there's the drive. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And Gobert, even when he gets hit, maintains his focus on the bucket and gets it to go. Minot's checked in for the Timberwolves. And falls for Gobert. A multiple-time defensive player of the year, Rudy Gobert is a major factor on the defensive end. Plus, he's efficient offensively. Powell outside. That one rolls around and rims out. The Timberwolves have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. For three, Conley. The shot that time, not on target. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. They grab their own miss. Oh, and Reed with a block. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Timberwolves. Well, it's tough to score when you're getting stuffed on every attempt. Great job getting the hands up so far, making life difficult on shooters. And also, the coaching staff has to love the hustle so far. Just playing with great energy, getting out and converting in transition. 
Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. And it's power with the ball for Los Angeles. Trailing by four. And at home for the next one, it'll be Oklahoma City pulling in. That'll be the first of three games played at home. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws. We'll follow that whistle. And the foul called on the Minnesota Timberwolves. From Harden. Both good from the line that time. Connolly with the ball. Pass to Reed. Edwards for three. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. And this is how confident Edwards is. Feels like he can sink these shots whenever he wants. George passes to Harden. Zubats with it. Clock at six. Stolen by Reed. Pass to Edwards. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Ivica Zubats. And he can't get the first one. Towns, he's checked in for Minnesota. McDaniels comes in for Alexander Walker. And he's good on the second. After having no trips to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now. Outside Harden. Fires the three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Reed's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Conley. To the inside. Here's Towns. Rebound by the Clippers. Leonard's got five rebounds tonight. Here's George. McDaniels covering. George against McDaniels. George, that one's good. George has got six in the quarter. Shut out from beyond the arc in the first quarter. He's now got two for the game. And here's Conley. Outside Edwards. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Gobert's checked in for Reed. Westbrook, he's checked in for the Clippers. Clippers trail. Leonard outside. Tice is green on town. 
Well, a careless foul. That'll send him to the line for three free throws. A quick break, and we look at our 2K leaderboard for three-point shooting last season. In the third spot, Los Angeles. This is a team full of snipers. They consistently knock down outside shots that forces defenses to play up on them, which allows the rest Re of the floor to open up. The free throw drops for Leonard. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line, 100% this quarter. He hits the second from the line. And he makes all three. The Timberwolves have gone eight of 15 in the second. Here's Conley. Outside Edwards. This one for three. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got four assists in the game. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. And the Clippers making a change here. Coffee's checked in. And it's Leonard with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. Six-point game. Tice is screen on Towns. Here's Leonard. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Strength, body control, and focus. Kawhi showing it all right there. Minnesota's gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. The Clippers are certainly a deep team, and Kawhi Leonard said, we have a lot of talented wings on our team that can play both ways. Dribble, shoot the ball, able to guard multiple positions, and I think that's what you need right now in the NBA. Guys that can guard, switch, and knock down open shots. Brian? Yeah, true enough. Allie, thanks. 
Here's Edwards. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Minnesota's gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Outside Conley. Gobert against Heiss. Let's it fly. Tries again. Terrific finish in close by Gobert. What a save by Gobert using that reach to beat the defense to that rebound. Leonard on the wing. Covered by Towns. Leonard can't get that one to fall. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Here's Westbrook, and it's blocked. Yeah, good anticipation helps Edwards see the shot forming. Then his speed gets him there for the block. Powell, he's checked in for coffee. Shot from the inbound. Oh, Leonard right through the defender. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Harden against Edwards. Outside Conley. Towns, left side. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got his fifth assist in this one. The Clippers trail. Who poked away. Tice with the ball. Towns covering. Well, Los Angeles shooting at about 44% so far. Harden against Edwards. Shot clock at five. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's his third foul so far. And that's the risk you run when you leave him in with two fouls. Westbrook against Conley. Powell for three. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. Knocked away. McDaniels against Powell. Pass to Westbrook. Here's Leonard. Let's it go from deep. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. Aggressive play from Kawhi Leonard, drawing the foul and still taking his shot. Three shots. Three shots. And he's good on the first of three. I like how he's upped his aggressiveness here finding ways to get to the line in this second quarter. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Milton is checked in. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. it and he continues to shoot well from the line here's Conley a minute 58 left to play in the first half Towns a screen on Westbrook Towns outside the three and James Harden pulls it down Ooh, that's a tough break after poor communication defensively it leaves him all by himself and here's Westbrook from the arc pure from three-point range Westbrook's got eight points here in the quarter. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. That's good from Towns on the assist by Conley. Conley's got his sixth assist of the night. And so it's Westbrook who will bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. At one point, they led by 16. 
Pass to Harden. Jacks up a three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got four rebounds now. Towns with the ball. And he banks in the layup. Towns has got 11 points. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Westbrook finds Harden. Leonard outside. Tice sets a screen. Leonard with the ball. And it's Gobert picking him up. In the pick and roll, I like confidence. Leonard showing as a facilitator. His game just continues to ascend. There's 37 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Pass to Conley. 4-3. Kyle pulls it in. In this first half, he has really fallen in love with the three. So far, not paying dividends. Leonard for three. Leonard, be on the line. Building off a solid first quarter. He's been lights out here in the second. Here's Conley. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. The sneaky athleticism of Conley able to absorb the hit there and still get the shot. Now here's Harden. He's guarded closely. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. What's up? good from Harden and so it's Minnesota with it with one on the clock doesn't go that time love seeing the hustle from Russell Westbrook especially on the defensive end and a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half Clippers ahead they're up by four all right now let's check in with Allie LaForce Allie what do you have I'm joined by Clippers head coach Ty Lue and coach when Kawhi Leonard comes out like he has tonight. What's the overall impact? It impacts our team. I think, you know, everything opens up, you know, guys are less on edge. And uh, when he starts like this, it gives us a great momentum going into the game. So um, we like what he's doing right now. Now we got to build on it. When you have a player like that, you follow his lead. Thanks, coach. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. Hi, everybody. Kawhi Leonard displaying excellence yet again. The board man has been on fire. He's been good, but their defense, man, you got to look at their intensity and their disruption. And if that continues, he'll just keep running over them. Only way to stop him when he's on a roll, force the ball out of his hands. Deny, bring two, whatever you got to do. And now let's take a moment. The fans hitting us up on social media. Donuts All Day Long wants to know how many degrees does Shaq have at this point? Oh, this again? First of all, only the children can call me Shaq. The adults have to address me as Dr. O'Neill. Well, first of all, Dr. J is more of a doctor than you. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. 
It's been one outstanding game from Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, but his blocks tell only part of the story. His presence alone is making an impact on defense. Yes, defensively, what they've done, they funnel people his way and banking on his ability to intimidate. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Checking out the group for Ty Lu to start the second half. Filling out the wings, it's Mann and George. Kawhi and Zubats make up the front court, and it's Harden in at the point guard position. Conley against Harden. Let's look at the top rebounders from last season. The fourth spot held by Rudy Gobert. Simply put, he was terrific down low last year, owning the glass. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard outside. Outside Harden from behind the arc. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. Leonard's got three assists in the game. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Gobert up top. Here's Edwards. Towns outside. The three is up. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got five rebounds in the game. You know, on a per minute basis, Avica Zubats is one of the top rebounders in the league, Smitty. B.A., that's his primary role, along with setting good screens. He has the size, toughness, and instincts to excel at those responsibilities. Leonard on the wing, covered by Towns, to the paint. And it's slammed in by Zubats. I like to see Kawhi looking for his teammates, keeping the offense flowing. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. After this game, they can look forward to Detroit, where they will match up against the Pistons. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. With the step back. Here's Leonard. It's blocked by Gobert. Conley passes to Edwards. Zubac with the steal to the middle. His man, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Great dive from Zubats. He understands when he should look to give it up. Outside Conley. Outside Edwards. Back to Conley. From downtown, knocks down the triple. Conley's got nine points. Mike Conley makes just enough of these to keep the defense honest. George finds Harden. Back to George. Shot clock at six. Pass to Zubats. Count that one. Zubats has gotten four this quarter. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Minnesota calls timeout. All right, Grant, talking about Avita Zubats, what do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy.
Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. Here's man. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's on Anthony Edwards. misses. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And the Clippers call time here. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Second free throw is good. And so Conley will bring it up for Minnesota. Pass to McDaniels. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Towns outside. The three is up. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubox has got six rebounds in the game to the paint. Harden against McDaniels. Now here's George. Zubats inside. Give him eight. Misses from short range. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Shots good by Towns. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Harden, the pass to Leonard. Zubats high post. And it's slammed in by Zubats. There's the flush from Zubats. I love when he goes up strong like this. Outside Conley, shoots over Harden, and Harden with the block, and stolen by Leonard. Ooh, Leonard leaves no room for error. Kawhi Leonard has been on fire. He is totally locked in on the offensive end. Pass to Towns. Rebound by the Clippers. Inside, Leonard. Count that bucket. Leonard's got four points this quarter. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Outside Conley. 
Here's Towns. Denied by Leonard. And he gets it back. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Harden drawing the double team. Leonard outside. It's Leonard with a good look inside. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Clippers? What I love and the coaching staff has to love is the defense. They've really brought the energy with all these blocks we've seen in this one. And we also got to talk about the number of points they've scored in transition, just jumping all over the opposition in this regard. This has been a tough quarter for them and a challenging game for this team. And the upcoming schedule for the Minnesota Timberwolves. On Wednesday, they head out on the road to face the Pistons in Detroit. Then on Thursday, they'll be matching up against Steven Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. And he drops the first. Anderson's checked in for McDaniels. He's perfect from the line this time. Minnesota's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Outside Conley. Towns on a screen. A shot to stop the run. And that one's good from Conley. Conley's got 11 points. What you like about Conley, he has a nice assortment of shots in that mid-range area. Leonard on the wing. Over Towns, the putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That's what stokes Zubats. Every possession he saves, he gets more fired up. Conley passes to Towns. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Great job drawing the foul and almost converted the shot as well. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And at nearly seven feet tall, you don't expect Towns to do some of the things he does, like drain threes and make savvy passes. But he's a modern big man. Norman Powell, he's checked in for the Clippers. And so Towns nails them both. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. Now George. He's got 12. And a miss there on the triple. Here's Towns. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. 17 points in the game. Playing with good instincts. Nikhil making those around him better. Down low. Here's George. And now looking at the 2K leaderboard, here's a view of which teams last year got after it with their shot blocking. The fourth spot held by Minnesota. They really take pride in defending the rim and sending shots back with some authority. That's good from George. And it's been a pretty amazing trend, Steve. Five straight years, the MVP has gone to guys 6'11 and up. So much for small ball taking over. I love it. The big guy is back in play, and it should be. We have some guards that are extremely talented, but these bigs are playing big, and they have skills like a small guy. George hits them both. Connolly with the ball. 11 points in the game. Gobert with a screen on Harden. Here's Conley. And again, it's Minnesota converting. Los Angeles has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Harden finds Leonard. 
Takes a three. With a rebound by the Timberwolves. Going into halftime, he had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. And here's Conley. 13 points in the game. Pass to Anderson. Six on the shot clock. Now Gobert. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. There's the block. Here's Leonard. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got a sixth rebound on the night. Outside, Anderson. Towns, outside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. And it is so tough to disrupt Town's shot. I mean, when he shoots, he's so disciplined and locked in. Oh, so impressive. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Reed's checked in. Tice is checked in for the Clippers. Coffee comes in for Paul George. And so Towns nails them both. They're doing some good work at the line this half. And it's Leonard with the ball for Los Angeles. They lead by 11. Time, out, time, out. time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk Pardon. it over. Harden, the pass to Powell. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Reed. And the deficit down inside single digits. Reed's got his third basket of the night. Ooh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. Outside Harden. The three ball connects from downtown. Harden's got 14 points for the game. A lights-out three-point shooter. Harden loves to take and make them. Out left to the wing. Here's Alexander Walker. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Exchanging buckets from downtown. 
That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Here's Harden using his post moves to get the two points. 16 points for him. Oh, a silky floater by Harden, making a tough shot look almost effortless. Pass to Alexander Walker. No good on the three. Los Angeles has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Stolen by Reed. One fifty-seven left to play in the third quarter. Towns outside. To the left wing. From the baseline. Reed can't hit. Well, Los Angeles shooting has been great at 58% on the third. Coffee, the pass to Powell. From the arc. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. You know, every team is looking for guys like Norman Powell, an explosive athlete who is relentless, and he can shoot the ball. Free throw misses. McLaughlin, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Russell Westbrook, he's checked in for Harden. He hits the second from the line. He nails the third. The Timberwolves shooting at about 51% for the game so far on this one. Here's Alexander Walker. Pass to Towns. The shot from the low post is good. Towns has got 21 points in the game. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Powell outside. Here's the three. I have to appreciate Powell's consistency of effort. He never takes a playoff. <laughs> Good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. Falls for Powell. Good on the second one. And he makes all three. Minnesota's gone two for five from three since halftime. Anderson finds Towns. From deep. Tice grabs the miss. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Shot by Leonard, no good. Timberwolves shooting around 45% since the break. Here's Reed. That one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. Reed's got four points this quarter. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Now here's Westbrook. Defense is right there. And they pick up two. Westbrook's got ten. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. 
Outside, Anderson. Just five on the clock. Pass to Towns. Over Leonard. Towns can't get it to go. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. More 2K action in just a moment. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. We've got Anthony Edwards, Troy Brown out there with Kyle Anderson. Then there's Nas Reed, and it's McLaughlin in at point. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Here's Reed, and there's the rejection. Stolen by Anderson, and here we go. The Timberwolves on the run. A slam dunk by Reed. A nice setup. Kyle makes pretty good decisions with the ball in his hands. And so George will bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Shoots over Brown. Gets the 14-footer to fall. And the Clippers lead by 14. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Well, the Clippers shooting at about 51% for the game so far on this one. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Tipped away. And here we go. The Timberwolves on the run. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. And nice quick hands there on Edwards. And a heads-up play to start the break off the steal. Free throw good. Brown. A few possessions into the fourth, just over a minute play. Westbrook taking his time here. 
And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Nas Reed. Look at the focus. When Russell Westbrook zeroes in, he's next level. Free throw, no good. Westbrook is full of energy. He brings so much of it to the floor. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. For Minnesota, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Brown with a screen. Pass to Reed. Over Tice. It's rebounded by George. George has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Coffee. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. And the Clippers lead by 14. <laughs> and the defense is there, but somehow, some way, he still gets it done. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. Reading the post, he's against Tice. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Man, the defender really went after him. That free throw, no good. Conley's checked in for McLaughlin. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Harden's checked in. That one's no good. The Clippers shooting at about 51% for the game so far on this one. George against Brown. George's shot is off. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Here's Conley. Pass to Reed. Second chance shot. Coffee grabs the board. Coffee's got his eighth rebound here tonight. George outside. And here's Harden. He's guarded by Conley. Tice, a screen on Conley. Three-pointer, Harden. Rebound, Minnesota. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Outside Edwards. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And Edwards' teammates encourage him to be aggressive because when he is, he forces the defense's hand. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Moore's checked in. Russell Westbrook, he's checked in for Los Angeles. So after making the first, he goes one for two. For Los Angeles, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Here's George. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got his third assist of the night. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. Here's Edwards. Ooh, and once again, off the mark by Minnesota. The Clippers have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Conley against George. Oh, and Reed with a block. They recover it. And 
finished off by Tice. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Now here's Edwards. Outside Conley. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. That's just his first turnover of the night. What a steady, efficient game he's played thus far. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Minot's checked in. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Edwards against Harden. Up top, Edwards. Fires for three. Another miss by Minnesota. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Coffee, the pass to George. Got a piece of it. Here's Minot. George defending. Pass to Conley. And out of bounds, Los Angeles will have it. And here are the Clippers now. Westbrook outside. Here's George. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And even the players have expressed concern about load management. Are changes afoot, or is this the new normal, Greg? Well, B.A., I think protecting players from injury is smart to do. But maybe the ticket sellers need to highlight the back-to-back -back game so fans are well aware that some players might be sitting. For three, Conley down to five on the shot clock. Great defensive effort by Russell Westbrook. Terrific closeout ability. Shoots over Anderson. Second chance effort. And the finish inside by Tice. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Harden against Edwards to stop the drought. Ooh, and once again, off the mark by Minnesota. And it's Westbrook with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Yeah, I think he's letting his emotions get the better of him on that foul. Some changes for Minnesota. Rudy Gobert comes in for Anderson. And Towns is subbed in for Minot. Zubats, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Russell Westbrook. Harden against Conley. Let's it go from 11. Nice shot by Harden. Harden's got 10 points in just the second half. Yeah, that soft touch that Harden has on his shot makes hitting a mid-range J look so simple. Harden against Conley. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul of the game. Westbrook, he's checked in for the Clippers. Edwards, the pass to Towns. And here's Conley. Tipped. Great awareness on defense there. Zubots relishes blocking shots. And the foul called on Paul George. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. A great job to establish position and square up. McDaniels is checked in for the Timberwolves. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Man, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Minnesota has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Outside Conley. 
Can they get it? And there's Towns on the assist by Conley. Towns has got 23 points. And it's always great to see Towns in the zone, bringing a ton of energy to his offensive game. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And until recently, it seemed like a foregone conclusion that the NBA's age limit would come back down to 18. Are you surprised that didn't happen, Grant? You know, B.A., I am surprised. We heard players saying it's not fair to make guys wait. You know, Commissioner Silver seemed receptive, so that was slightly unexpected that age 19 remains the rule. And he makes it first. George hits them both. Now Conley. Towns outside for three. Here's McDaniels. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. McDaniels got his first basket. Hustle points count just like any others. That's a great play. Harden against Conley. Here's Leonard. And the Clippers miss again. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting 27% here in the fourth. Towns passes to Conley. Back to Towns. Well, Steve, the most recent CBA increased two-way player slots. Now teams can carry three instead of two. How do you like it? I love it. The two-way player rule has been a huge success. Lots of guys have been discovered that way, given a chance to play in this league. Shooting two. First free throw is good. He couldn't get to the line once in the first half. Coach must have really talked to him at the break. And so Towns nails them both. For Los Angeles, they've gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. It's George on the drive, and so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Strong take by Paul. He plays with great decisiveness. He's off on the first, and in deciding against lowering the minimum age for the NBA draft, Grant, do you think it's fair to 17- and 18-year-olds who want to go pro? You know, B.A., I do think it's fair. I mean, there are other avenues in today's basketball environment where compensation for these guys is possible. You have the overseas route. You have the G League Ignite. And, of course, now colleges have the NIL, so that's huge. And he sinks the second. Whatever they discuss at halftime, he's come out more assertive and more aggressive. Outside Edwards. Harden against Conley. Here's Towns. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Leonard's got rebound number eight here already in the game. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him, first in this half. Minnesota's got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Now here's Edwards, tightly guarded. 6 to shoot, 19-footer. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. 
Leonard for three. And Conley grabs the miss. Conley's got four rebounds now. And Grant, the play-in was added after you retired. You wish it was around when you played? You know, B.A., uh, no. Uh, but I do think we could have used it a couple of times in my years in Orlando. But, you know, in all fairness, the play-in is a success as it creates a Game 7 atmosphere. And the NBA really knocked it out the park with this one. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Coffee, he's checked in for Zubats. Brown comes in for George. Powell, he's checked in for Mann. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Harden. Here's Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Powell. Here's Edwards. Edwards can't get that one to fall. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Here's Powell. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got his fifth assist in this one. Minnesota with the ball. To the inside to win the drop. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The officials were right on top of that one. And Grant, with the idea of league expansion, some have worried in the past that there's not enough talent to go around. You see that? You know, quite the contrary, B.A. I mean, the league's in a terrific place for talent, and there's definitely the depth break. for more Take teams break. to join the fray. Throw good, Edwards. So for the Clippers, Tice comes in for Kawhi Leonard, and it's Primo in for Brown. Both free throws good for Edwards. And so it's Westbrook who will bring it up for Los Angeles. Tice, a screen on Conley. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Conley against Westbrook. Towns for three. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Westbrook with it. Powell outside. There's the three. Fires in the triple. Powell's got 10 points here in the second half. On the money, three-point answer by Norman Powell. Not letting the other team own the arc. Conley passes to Towns. Double team on Towns. McDaniels from long range. Rebound by the Clippers. Powell's got five rebounds tonight. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Clippers. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. And what a huge performance it was for Kawhi Leonard. When it comes to protecting the rim, there are numerous ways to do that. The most exciting of those, just send shots back. And that's what he did tonight in volume. For three, Powell rebounded by the Timberwolves. <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And they double up Edwards. Pass to Gobert. Back to Edwards. Hey, 
Six on the shot clock. All alone. Rick Daniels, that's good. How about the pass from Gobert? Scanning the floor well and spotting his open teammate. Conley against Westbrook. So no problem for the Clippers as they get the win. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Thanks a lot, B.A. Well, Kawhi, you had it going inside and out. It seemed like you were getting wherever you wanted on the court. Did it feel that way? Uh, I was hoping well. Um, you know, overall, the team played well. Um, they got me in my spots. They made shots open the floor for me. Always humble. Back to you guys. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard.